Good morning, everyone. Our opening song will be Center of My Life. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Keep me safe, O oh God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. My happiness lies in you alone. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather on this feast of the holy name of Mary, we ask her intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Father Emmanuel Pennard and the special intention for Father Ed Jankowski. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that for all who celebrate the glorious name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, she may obtain your merciful favor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. My dear friends, flee from the worship of idols. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Consider the people of Israel. Are not those who eat the sacrifices partners in the altar? What do I imply then? That the food sacrificed to idols is anything, or that an idol is anything? No, I imply that what pagans sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. I do not want you to be partners with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Or are we provoking the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? The word of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. Out of the good treasure of the heart, the good person produces good. And out of evil treasure, the evil person produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? I will show you that someone is like who comes to me, hears my words and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood arose, the river burst against that house but could not shake it because it had been built well. But the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, immediately it fell, and great was the ruin of that house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Jesus is asking us to bear good fruit. Our trees from the time of our baptism were meant to do just that, as we're called to holiness, to live as saints. When's the last time we focused on the fruit that we are bearing? Just like yesterday's scriptures talk about, we notice when others are not bearing fruit. We notice when others are bearing bad fruit, period. But what about ourselves? Am I living a life of holiness? Do I exude the love of Jesus? Do I exercise patience and compassion? Or is it all about me? There is no greater love, says the Lord, than to lay down one's life for a friend. When's the last time I've done something for someone else? Especially someone who doesn't share the same last name as me. Are we bearing the fruit that Christ is calling us to? St. Paul calls us the body of Christ and we are to be like the one who has sent us. Are we bearing the fruit that Christ is calling us to? Let us pray. Trusting in God who leads us to the good we desire, we bring our prayers before him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for every member of the body of Christ May God help us to grow in faith and empower us in our witness to Christ, we pray. Let us pray for those in positions of authority. May God guide them in their decisions and awaken in them a heart for justice, we pray. Let us pray for those who are struggling in the storms of life. May the Holy Spirit guide them in finding rest on the rock and salvation in Christ's love, we pray. Let us pray for all of us gathered here as the body of Christ the members of St. Joseph's Church. May the light of truth call us to a place of trust in God alone, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the fires in California and throughout the world that God may keep all people safe, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that they may be kept safe, for those searching for a vaccine, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and the families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Let us pray for all who have died. Remember especially Father Emmanuel and Kathleen who will be buried from our parish this morning. May they rest in the perfect goodness of God's presence, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. God of goodness, we offer you these prayers today, trusting in your perfect care. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary commend our offerings, we pray, O Lord, and may it make us acceptable to your majesty as we revere and venerate her name through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels adore your majesty, and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Father Emmanuel and Kathleen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Paul, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Reminder as we come forward to receive Jesus in Holy Communion, we wait till after saying amen to remove our mask and we receive Jesus on our hands. Thank you.
Let us pray. May we obtain the grace of your blessing, O Lord, through the intercession of Mary, the mother of God, that from her whose name we venerate, we may obtain help in our every need. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our blessed mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O holy mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And as we honor our blessed mother's name, we pray the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Following Mass, we have Kathleen Salmon's funeral Mass at 10, so there will be no holy hour today. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even in safety shall my body rest, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved no decay. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you, I will always serve you, I will always keep you in my sight. God bless you.